Hallo zusammen, guten Tag und willkommen zu Billbology und um, uh, Chapter about uh, wie ist das Wetter? Wie ist das Wetter? So, how is the weather? So, we have already learned um, to say it's nice, it's sunny, es ist schön, es ist sonnig, es ist kalt, es ist heiß. Um, and there are many other ways of describing the weather which we can go back to and look at as revision. But I want to talk to you about the seasons and then some free time activities because we've already, it's something we've already covered. I'm looking at Ich fahre Rad or Ich höre gern Musik. And so I'd like to just go into a bit more detail about that and in particular look at the seasons. Now, if I just bring the seasons over, you can look, you can see um, that. To say in the winter, to in winter, um, we have im winter. You notice the im. So that's from the dative case, if you if you recall. If I wanted to say in the living room was im wohnzimmer, um, it's the same principle. So im winter, im frühling. Make sure you get the pronunciation right. Frühling. Frühling, im Sommer and im Herbst. Now, Winter and Sommer, I think those are quite obvious ones, winter and summer. Frühling, less so. Um, and Herbst, I always think there are leaves falling into my hair. Herbst, and so I remember that one. So, let's look at, let's look at actually what we can do with it. Well, the first thing you could do is start to actually describe what the weather's like in those seasons. Um, one way that you might do that is, for example, by saying, um, let's, take, let's take summer. We like summer. Im Sommer. Now, if I want to say it's hot... As you found out before, you would say S S ist heiß. It's hot. However, you've got to remember back to our rule about the verb being the second idea. Now, im Sommer is the first idea. That's idea number one. Now, if the verb's going to be the second idea, has to go here. All right. So we actually have im Sommer ist, and then the rest stays the same. S heiß. Okay. Im Sommer ist es heiß. So how would you think you would say then? Write this out. Pause the video. In winter, so im Winter, it is cold. Look back and th see if you can remember how to say it is cold. Try that now. Okay, well done if you got im Winter ist es kalt. So essentially we're saying the same thing. But what's really important is that the verb here is in position number two. Okay, so again, im Winter, position one, and then the rest of the information is in position three. Okay, that's very important to remember. So what I'd like you to do is just make sure that you've got written out one sentence for each of these seasons. So, for example, im Winter ist es kalt, um, im Sommer ist es schön oder warm oder sonnig, im Frühling ist es kalt oder im Frühling regnet es, because remember the verb must be in second position, Im, im Frühling regnet es oder im Herbst regnet es oder schneit es, although that would be in the winter when it snows. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to talk to you about. So we're going to go ahead now, and I'm going to bring in this as a bit of a better example of what else you can do. So <coughs> these are just some kind of hobbies that you can do during the seasons. As you can see, im Sommer. Okay, so here's again, here's our idea one. Um, and then you've got 
let's use let's use im Sommer spiele ich mm, Rugby. Okay, so there's our example. Now remember, im Sommer is the position one, that's your adverbial phrase. Position two is the verb. And look, it's got the E ending. Why? Because it's ich. So im Sommer spiele ich Rugby. Okay, so position three is the ich, and position four is then what it is that you're doing. So, if you like, from here, you can kind of think of it as everything else. Because we've already got im Sommer, so there's our adverbial phrase again, we've got the verb, we've got the subject, so you don't need to swap them around because we've done that, im Sommer spiele ich, and then rugby. And then you could also add on other information if you needed to. Okay, so. so make sure you've got a few examples written down in your notes that show that you can understand the use of the first and second positions here, and also the third. And maybe you can mix and match some of these. So for example, im Winter mache ich Radtoren. Uh, Im Sommer gehe ich schwimmen. Now, if you have a look at the table, it's also the same table in your books. They follow this pattern here. So you couldn't say, for example, im Winter mache ich schwimmen. I do swimming. That just doesn't work. So follow these as a bit of a guide to how you can actually lay out these sentences. So you can choose any one of these, but it's these verbs that go with these words over here. So gehe Ich schwimmen oder windsurfen. Im Winter spiele ich Tennis, Hockey, Rugby. And Im Frühling, or any of them, mache ich Radtorn or Leichtathletik. Okay, so just a quick video for now. Make sure that you've got all that down um, and that you've written out your examples and you've understood really about the word order, the grammatic. The word order can also be found, if you want another reference, on page 9, as a Seite 9, in your Logo 2 book, im Logo 2. Okay, im Logo 2. So, viel Glück, viel Spaß und schönes Wochenende.